the projected track of the hurricane now moving farther away from us. Emergency managers in Baltimore County are warning us not to let our guards down. WMAR 2 News, Jeff Hager has that part of the story tonight. Jeff? Well, Jamie, as the chance for widespread flooding and power outages has diminished, county leaders point to a painful lesson 15 years ago as a good reason to prepare for the worst. She moved to Bully's quarters within the last year, and Shannon Barron is quickly learning the dream of owning waterfront property comes with some risk should it flood. We're just praying and hoping the best for everything, you know? I mean, I mean, there's nothing we can really do but batten down the hatches and hope for the best. At the nearby volunteer fire company, Chief John Hines says preparations are in place for any potential impacts from Hurricane Florence. Every boat's going to be manned. It's going to be uh, pre-deployed um, here at the station again. This may become a community evacuation center, so we're prepared for that. The company's only recently acquired this former military high-wheeled rig capable of rescuing people in the event of a storm surge like the one driven by yet another hurricane, Isabel, 15 years ago, which destroyed more than 200 homes here and cost the volunteers nearly half a million dollars worth of equipment. It took quite a hit. Um, engines were being driven into uh, higher water than they should have been. And it was just because of that surge that came in, they almost became trapped in there. Just as the weather forecast have diminished the chance for major flooding in recent days, county leaders caution people that conditions can also deteriorate quickly, so they should be prepared to use common sense. In the event of bad weather, we ask those people that, uh, n that have cars that need to get out, don't go out. Uh, the emergency equipment that will be out there will need to get from place to place, and if you're out there, you may cause a detriment to this, and we may not be able to make it. County leaders point to another recent painful example of just how quickly the weather can change over the Memorial Day weekend. That's when sun-filled skies opened up, dumping eight inches of rain in just four hours, flooding Ellicott City and several areas in Baltimore County.